Is this the prelude to the This is the pre-show to the show. The pre-show to the show. Hi, everybody. Paul and Judy here, and we're getting ready to do our second edition of... In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy. It's the show for those of us that like food, Mm -hmm. but don't have maybe the time or the inclination to be a gourmet chef. And we didn't go to school for it either. No, I would have been definitely expelled (laughs) expelled from that school. (laughs) But here's what we're going to do today. This is actually part one of a two-part series this time. Rotisserie chicken. You see it, you love it, you can't live without it. We have... You really are a gourmet chef. Two, two baked potatoes. <laughs> Baggies included. Right. Well, I want you to see the before, and then I'll show you when I debone that chicken. Okay. And then we have our broccoli. Now, here's the great news. This is going to be a delicious meal for two for $6.08. I, I even said that. When I'm like, wait, what? How yes. much was it? I said, get the receipt. He said, no, there's a whole lot more on there because there's $46 worth of things. But what I bought here, I added up $6.08. And that's because we're going to get two meals out of our little baggy chicken. And that's what part two is going to be about. So this is the, <laughs> the start of the first part. And I have my little cleaner out got to clean these they're very very dusty and through the magic of television this is the only thing that takes a lot of time that is the baked potato yes judy's going to start on that i've actually already done uh set the oven 410 degrees for an hour make sure you puncture your potatoes first Mm -hmm. and then they won't explode (laughs) yes been there done that too and we'll be back in a minute okay the rest see you soon transition (laughs) and we're back that was a long commercial break wasn't it (laughs) Hi again. So we did our little introduction and mm-hmm. let you know that this is sort of a two-part series mm-hmm. in In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy. With rotisserie chicken. Lemon pepper. Rotisserie lemon chicken. pepper. So okay. that, we, yes, we decided we like the lemon chicken. I mean, not that barbecue is a bad thing, but because of part two, which happens to be the leftovers the next day, uh, we like to get kind of as neutral a flavor of the rotisserie chicken as we can. Okay. We talked about mise en place the first time. Let's do that again. So Judy over here has her mise en place. Actually, I do, but what? What? I just wanted to let everybody know that we have we buy the uh, broccoli, and then we end up using pretty much for one meal just one one, of those. one yeah. stalk of it, cut it up, and then um, use the rest for the leftovers the next day, and then there's still an extra one for yet another meal at another time. And let's explain this meal. It is going to be a rotisserie chicken. It's going to be broccoli. And it's going to be baked potatoes. For those of you that get caught in traffic and you don't have anything prepared and like, what am I going to do? I can pick up one of those rotisserie chickens. <laughs> well, if you get there too late, they're sold out of them. If you get there too early, well, how's, how are you going to heat it up? Yeah. Okay, so follow me over here because I have my rotisserie lemon pepper chicken here that I picked up around 4.20 in the afternoon. And he started it. Uh, I started to take some of the legs off because it's quite a process, mm-hmm. but I'm actually going to pull the uh, microphone, microphone a little bit closer there. to you well, the reason so I, that they can hear you. Yeah, the reason I'm, I'm telling you about this is because the big question that you all have is, how do I have it hot and delicious but not dried? Not dried out, right? So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start taking this bad boy apart. What we like to do is keep our legs intact and our wings intact. But, but with the rotisserie chicken, you can see it comes right off the bone. By the way, my other mise en place that I should explain, I have over here the bag. Well, what's the bag doing there? Well, all those bones that you're pulling out will go in here because you don't want those sitting in your trash overnight unless you take it outside. By the way, I have to interrupt you. Yes. Oh, clean. Because we forgot a very important part. Yes. And that is the beginning of our tradition. (laughs) So we just want to cheers to you as we Mm -hmm. continue to make our little meal. And I will go back and... Chop up the broccoli. I have the really easy part of the meal tonight. <laughs> Chop up the broccoli, get a little uh, double broiler, mm-hmm. let it steam for three steam minutes. Steam is your friend. Take out the potatoes that have been cooking, again, on their own for an hour. And basically, my job here is done. So, it's drinking time for you. <laughs> uh, this is my other reason, plus. This is a paper towel. Why is that important? Because you're putting your hands into a greasy chicken here. <laughs> so, basically, what I do is I start to pull it. Really, it comes right off the bones, as you can see. And I drop those in there, and I just start pulling the meat off. And I obviously you wash your hands. You're you're separating the bones out of there because you don't want to chew on bones. You like to keep the skin because the skin gives it some some beautiful flavor. Judy was right before you talked about um, why we get the lemon pepper, and I think that this is a really good point. You can get the plain rotisserie, and it's also delicious, but 
because of part two that Judy alluded to, where we're going to be doing, can we say what it is? Part sure, two? you mean our leftovers? Our stir, for the, our, our stir fry? We can't eat a whole rotisserie chicken in one night. No. Maybe you can with a family of four. I mean, that would probably be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And maybe there are some uh, couples that are just two and can also finish one. For us, we end up eating about half or at least less than half because we have then the filling of the potatoes and we have the broccoli. Other times we'll do a chicken dinner, the rotisserie chicken, and make the Caesar salad. And we had done that in another video. We just happen to love Caesar salads. And then sometimes we'll also do the chicken dinner with rice. But our leftover meal for the rotisserie chicken is the stir fry. And because we mix rice in with it, it's kind of fun to have just the variety of the potato. So that's kind of, does that help answer your yes, question? Yes, okay, it does. Good. <laughs> I'll go, oh, by the Thank way, you so much. Uh, with the broccoli, I'll show that I just cut the heads off of the broccoli stock. I do it ahead of time rather than putting in a, the whole stock along with it. And I even chop them up pretty fine because it just makes it our job that much easier when you actually get to the table. So basically, this is about all I'll put in for the two of us. And I'll just put it in the double broiler as so, you know, and as I say, three minutes and it's done. I like it a little al dente, so I won't go too long. Probably should wait till the timer on the potatoes go off, mm -hmm. to be perfectly honest, and then throw the broccoli in because it's just done so quickly. How right. are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm living a dream. <laughs> we said this was going to be a much easier meal than when we had done the salmon because there was just kind of so much more involved. There was more time <laughs> to do the rice. We didn't figure you wanted to be with us for the full hour of, the of watching the potato right. bake. It's like yeah. watching paint dry, <laughs> is it not? So I'm actually, as you can see, I'm just tearing this off. I, I, the breast part, I use a knife for because you get some really nice pieces there. And then we'll actually have some preparation for the leftovers, which we'll talk about in part two. You know what else is interesting for the two of us? It's funny. Um, <laughs> I hate waste and I love chicken. So at the end of him picking through all the chicken and the bones and getting as much meat off as he thinks he's gotten, uh, I would always say, no, nope, don't throw that last carcass away. I know I can get a little bit more. <laughs> well, he's gotten a lot better at get, getting every little morsel off that bone. So I'll go back to it and think, just a couple little bites before dinner starts and there's nothing left. So you're doing very well as yes, far as well. Me. And you know the other trick? <laughs> <laughs> we always do a rotisserie chicken the day before the trash comes. That's very a good point, big Judy. hint. Yes. Because, as you know, chicken bones smell, and I'm sure you're going to experience the same thing next week when it comes to Thanksgiving. So hopefully your trash will come on Friday. Ours does, thankfully. So <laughs> all of those turkey bones can be <laughs> put yeah, out that's true. This, and not this, smell up the house. We are actually shooting this on Monday. It is right now Monday. We have a trash on Tuesday. We have a trash on Friday. So And then recyclables, Judy? One of those? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> We're on Wednesday, recyclables. We're good about recycling. Yes, we are. We're and by the way, this day. has only one minute left, so I okay. am going to throw the broccoli in now. Already? Okay. And now, this is this is the, the really important thing. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut it off. Too. That's okay. Uh, the really important thing about this meal, and the chicken is really done to perfection when you pick it up, but if you're worried about, well, I'm in traffic for an hour, or the, the kids haven't come home from their activities, or you had to work late, whatever that might be. The, the good news is this is a foolproof, delicious way to get it nice and hot. It will remain juicy, tender, and like it just came right out of the rotisserie oven. Excuse me, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. grab Go ahead, something to take the broccoli out and it's ready for serving. So that's why we use this method of steaming because if, you, if you've ever gone through that problem of I put it in the oven and it, then it cooks too long and then it's too dry. This is foolproof. I'm telling you, I guarantee that if you do this and follow this really easy recipe, you buy that, what was this, $5.99. By the way, just so you don't get any shock, any sticker shock. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, as long as you don't get any sticker shock, um, the, the um, rotisserie is $5.99 at our local Publix here. But, it's the only thing on our grocery bill that they charge tax for because it's a prepared food. They heat it up for you. Otherwise, if you just bought the chicken and did all the work yourself, there'd be no tax. 
But this whole meal that we're talking about, although I didn't, I didn't talk about how many grains of salt we might use. But <laughs> or this, where it came from. For, for two people, this meal is going to come to about $6.08. <laughs> which is pretty incredible. Which is pretty incredible. So the potatoes are done. Mm -hmm. And I made sure before I uh, put them in there that I cleaned them real well. I do not peel the skin off. I happen to love the skin of a, of a baked potato. But I just stab it a few times on each side so that it doesn't explode in the oven. I don't know if that's a wives tale or not, but my mom taught me to do that. So that's well, what I wife. continue to do. <laughs> so that works and nothing has exploded, at least in this oven. Yes. So we have uh, the potatoes done. We'll just serve them up the way we like them. Mm -hmm. The broccoli is actually finished too. I'm going to turn your chicken up a little bit so that it gets oh, yeah. a well, little bit well, more well, Let's put the lid on. I got one left. Done. Are you done? Done. You didn't even let me check the carcass to no, make sure that it was no, 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 no. Okay. I trust you. There's one little <laughs> <laughs> and that That's allowed. Be, that might be your first mistake in the kitchen. Trust me. <laughs> so, serve it up. Broccoli, rotisserie chicken. It's already been pre-seasoned, and so it's fabulous. If you want to add a little salt and pepper, we use Himalayan sea salt mm -hmm. and nice fresh ground pepper, and then you're good to go. I love this steam. I could use mm -hmm. this as a sauna later. What we'll do, since we have a little bit more preparation to do, we'll say goodbye for now, but you'll show the plate. I'll show the plate. The plate. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a nice <laughs> quick In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy. We hope it won't be the last. Actually, no, it won't, because we have to do part two, manana. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bon appetit. I don't know French, really. <laughs>